Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome back to Sip Surrender Sparkle, the haven where we immerse ourselves in the enchanting universe of literature, poetry, and everything that sparks inspiration. I'm thrilled to be your guide on this journey. Today, we have a rather special treat lined up. We're going to delve into Endings, Poetry, and Prose by William Poe, a hidden treasure in the indie world that's set to captivate your heart and mind. So buckle up and prepare to be mesmerized. Now let's jump right in. William Poe in Endings takes us on a poignant journey through the highs and lows of life, exploring the beauty in every moment. This indie gem is a collection of poetry and prose that delves deep into the human experience. It's a literary exploration that dances on the edge of the profound and the everyday, giving us a glimpse into the myriad of emotions that make us who we are. Poe's Endings is a testament to the power of words. It's a tapestry woven with the threads of love, loss, and the resilience of the human spirit. Each piece in this collection is a mirror, reflecting our shared experiences and the unique ways we navigate through them. It's a celebration of our triumphs and an acknowledgement of our struggles, reminding us that every ending is but a new beginning. The author's approach in endings is as captivating as it is thought-provoking. He takes the ordinary and elevates it, revealing the extraordinary within. His words are a gentle whisper, a comforting hand on the shoulder, a knowing smile. They speak to us of the timeless themes that bind us together. Themes like the complexities of relationships, the bittersweet nature of farewells, and the profound impact of time on our journey. Poe's mastery of language and his insightful observations are a testament to his talent as a writer. Each piece in endings is a testament to the power of words, a testament to the power of story, and each piece in its own way speaks to the heart of what it means to be human. In endings, Poe doesn't just tell us stories. He invites us into them. He makes us feel, makes us think, makes us reflect. And in doing so, he shows us the beauty of life in all its forms. The beauty of endings lies in its ability to capture the essence of life's various chapters. It's a book that challenges us, that inspires us, that reminds us of the beauty and the pain, the joy and the sorrow, the beginnings and the endings. And in the end, it leaves us with a deeper understanding of the human experience and a greater appreciation of the beauty that lies within each moment. Poe weaves his words with a delicate touch, exploring the complexities of relationships, the bittersweet nature of farewells, and the profound impact of time on our journey. In endings, poetry, and prose, the key themes of relationships Farewells and time are not just mere topics, but the driving forces that shape the narrative. Each piece in this collection is a testament to the intricate dance of human connections. It is about love found and lost, about bonds that tie us together, and the inevitable fractures that come with time. It's about how relationships mold us, change us, and leave us with scars and stories to tell. The theme of farewells is woven throughout the book, Poe doesn't shy away from the heartache that comes with goodbyes. He paints a picture of farewells as a necessary part of life, a bittersweet symphony that plays on the strings of our hearts. The poems and prose pieces in this collection are imbued with a sense of nostalgia, a longing for what was, and a quiet acceptance of what is no more. Time, like an ever-flowing river, is another key theme in Poe's work. He explores the transformative power of time, how it shapes us, how it heals and hurts, how it brings change, whether we're ready for it or not. In the pages of endings, time is both a gentle friend and a relentless foe, a constant reminder of our mortality and the fleeting nature of our existence. Poe's exploration of these themes is both poignant and profound. His words resonate with a truth that hits home. He holds up a mirror to our own experiences, our joys and sorrows, our triumphs and tragedies. His poetry and prose are a celebration of life in all its messy, beautiful chaos. Each word feels like a brushstroke on the canvas of life, creating a vivid and emotional masterpiece. The themes of relationships, farewells, and time are not just threads in this tapestry of words, but the very fabric that gives it form and substance. Endings, poetry, and prose is more than just a book. It's a journey, an experience, a testament to the human spirit and its resilience. Poe's writing style is both evocative and accessible. He has a unique ability to connect with readers on a deep, emotional level. Indeed, one of the defining characteristics of Poe's writing is its ability to evoke a wide range of emotions. 
He's an artist who paints with words, creating vivid imagery that draws you into the world he has created. His prose is packed with rich sensory language that makes you feel like you're right there, experiencing the story along with the characters. You can almost smell the crisp autumn air, feel the anxiety of a pivotal moment, or taste the bitter sweetness of a last goodbye. But it's not just about creating beautiful images. Poe's writing also has a depth that makes it resonate with readers on a profound level. His words touch on universal human experiences, giving voice to emotions that we've all felt but may have struggled to put into words. He writes about love and loss, hope and despair, joy and sorrow, and in doing so he captures the complexity and nuance of the human experience. What's more, Poe's writing is incredibly accessible. While his prose is sophisticated, it's also clear and straightforward. This is a writer who understands that the beauty of language doesn't lie in using big words or complex sentences, but in conveying deep emotions and ideas in a way that anyone can understand. Whether you're a lifelong lover of literature or a casual reader, you'll find something to connect with in his work. Perhaps the most impressive thing about Poe's writing, though, is the way he balances these two elements, the evocative and the accessible. He manages to be both deeply emotional and easily relatable, creating work that speaks to the heart and the mind alike. In short, Poe's writing style is a masterful blend of vivid imagery, emotional depth, and clear, accessible language. It's a style that invites you in, makes you feel, makes you think, and leaves you with a richer understanding of the human experience. Whether you're a seasoned poetry enthusiast or just dipping your toes into the world of prose, Endings offers something for everyone. As I delved into Endings, I couldn't help but reflect on my own experiences. The power of literature, its magic, if you will, is in its ability to resonate, to echo within us, to stir our souls and awaken our senses. And Endings, with its poignant verses and insightful prose, did just that. In reading Endings, I found myself transported back to my childhood home, where I would spend hours in the garden, lost in the world of books. I remembered the joy of discovering new worlds, the thrill of slipping into the skin of different characters, the sweet sorrow of saying goodbye as I turned the last page. The poem Gone stirred within me a bittersweet nostalgia, reminding me of loved ones lost and the precious moments we shared. It reminded me that endings are not always final, but often lead to new beginnings, a comforting thought that carries me through my darkest days. The prose piece, Time's Embrace, resonated deeply with me. It brought back memories of my grandmother's old grandfather clock, its steady tick-tock, a comforting lullaby that spoke of the inexorable passage of time. It reminded me that each passing second is a gift, a chance for us to learn, to grow, to love, and to live. In endings, I found echoes of my own joys and sorrows, my triumphs and failures, my hopes and fears. Each poem, each piece of prose felt like a mirror reflecting my own experiences, my own emotions. It was a journey of self-discovery, a journey that made me laugh, made me cry, made me think, made me feel. And isn't that what great literature is all about? It's about feeling seen, feeling heard, feeling understood. It's about finding a piece of ourselves in the words on the page. It's about connecting, not just with the author, but with ourselves and with the world around us and Endings accomplishes just that. So, dear viewers, if you're on the lookout for a soul-stirring collection that celebrates the beauty of life in all its forms, Endings, Poetry and Prose is a must-read. This book is a treasure trove of emotions, intricately woven into words that touch the heart. It's an exploration of life, love, loss, and everything in between, penned with such elegance and depth that it's bound to leave a lasting impact. The magic of endings is in its universality. Whether you're going through a heartbreak, celebrating a milestone, or simply pondering upon the mysteries of life, you'll find a piece that resonates with you. It's like a friend who understands, a solace in solitude, a spark in the dark. It's a journey through the human spirit, a testament to our resilience and our capacity to love, even in the face of endings. In a world where we are constantly bombarded with noise, Endings, Poetry, and Prose offers a much-needed refuge. It's a gentle reminder to slow down, to feel, to reflect. It's a celebration of the human spirit in all its beautiful, messy glory. So if you're seeking a literary escape, a companion for your thoughts, 
or simply a beautiful collection to add to your bookshelf, look no further. Endings, Poetry and Prose is the book for you. It's a journey worth embarking on, a feast for the soul, a tribute to the beauty of life and the inevitability of endings, I can't recommend it enough. That wraps up our journey into Endings, Poetry and Prose by William Poe. What an adventure through the realms of life and literature, right? If you've read this heart-touching collection, don't hesitate to share your thoughts below. And if you've enjoyed our little literary excursion, show some love by hitting that like button, sharing this video, and subscribing to our channel. Until next time, keep sipping, surrendering, and sparkling in the world of words. Cheers.